We gon' start this thing go away. We gon' start this thing go. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's recipe, I'm gonna be making a green spaghetti. I think I'm gonna call it a poblano pasta because that's what I'm gonna be using for today. Um, so yeah, let me show you the ingredients. All right, you guys, so for my ingredients, this is gonna be for the sauce, by the way. I'm gonna be using three chile anchos, and I'm gonna be also using one jalapeno just because I kinda wanna add that extra spice. I'm gonna be using a whole can of evaporated milk. I won't be using this whole onion, probably like, I don't know, a third of it. I'm gonna be using some heavy cream, some cream cheese, a whole bunch of cilantro, uh, four cloves of garlic, and whatever choice of pasta you wanna use. And I'm also gonna be making it with some shrimp. Mm. It's gonna be good. And I'm also gonna add some sun-dried tomato at the end. So I'm super excited, you guys. Let's get right into this. I'm gonna go ahead and start blistering my chiles right on the fire. And this is not even gonna take too long. It should be a quick process. Okay, you guys, so once your chiles look like this, they're pretty much ready. I'm gonna put them in a plastic bag and just let these little suckers steam for like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my pasta. My water's already been boiling for a while. And I'm gonna be using this linguine. I'm gonna use half of the box just cause I'm only gonna make half. <laughs> And I did season the water already with some salt. I put two bay leaves and a chunk of onion. Give that water some flavor. And you always wanna flavor your pasta. And plus, I'm gonna save some of that water, so I need it to be seasoned. Perfect. Yeah, we're just gonna let that do its thing for a few minutes, and we shall come back to it. Pasta cooks and my chiles are steaming in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and season my shrimp. I have like a pound of the very tiny shrimp. They're already peeled and de veined, so I'm like, you know what, it's easier. So I'm just gonna, I'm thinking, I don't wanna over season them because in the sauce, they're gonna soak up all that sauce and I don't want it to be super salty. So I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's it. <laughs> so. You just lost one, but you really got it. Like that. <laughs> Alright, you guys, let me get started on these cheetahs. Okay, you guys, so it's been about like five minutes, and I'm gonna show you what these cheetahs look like. So they're still a little high, you gotta be careful. Oops. Sorry, this angle sucks, but I'm gonna try my best to show you guys. Okay, so this is what they look like. Right, they're all blistered and they look rough, right? So, since we had them in the bag steaming, just be careful because they're fucking hot. Um, you can either run them over like cold or warm water, which is probably what I'm gonna do right now because I'm burning my fingers. And, just like, just take off all the the skin, all the roasted part you want to take off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sorry, my nose is kind of running. But yeah, I'm gonna finish doing that, and then I'll show you guys what they look like after. I'm back, and this is how your chiles should look. They're dripping with water. So yeah, you see how I got all the skin out. So now, we're just gonna chop up the top part because we're gonna blend it so we don't need to like do all that fancy chopping or anything. I just want the seeds and the stem off. So this, toss it. Trash it, we don't need it. So 
yeah this is super easy you guys like everything is gonna go in the blender as far as the sauce goes and then you're just gonna cook it okay. and then toss everything together and remember we still have those shrimps so we're also gonna cook those in the sauce it's gonna be good it's gonna be good Sorry about this angle. I'm like trying to get the food and talk at the same time. It's okay. I'm making it work. Okay, so now that we have our chiles ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and add everything into the blender. So follow me. All right, you guys. So we're gonna start with our sauce now. Heavy cream. I'm gonna say I use like a third of a cup. Two ounces of cream cheese. Our onion. Garlic. Whole bunch of cilantro. And our chiles. And some salt. Not spicy, or at least not for me. So 
You guys can do it with or without the jalapeno. It's optional. You guys know I love spicy food. So I have some cherry tomatoes and I'm gonna go ahead and add. They're already chopped up. Oh my gosh, I'm missing the pot. And just let it be. Remember this sauce is gonna get thicker. So the longer you let it sit, the thicker it's gonna get. So don't get scared if it's too like soupy for you right now at this point. Okay, you guys, so our pasta is done. Look how good that looks. Now it's plating time. Alright you guys, so this is the finished product. It looks so good. Let's do this, y'all. Alright you guys, so my pasta is finito. Now I'm gonna taste this. You know I already did. watching hope you guys enjoyed the recipe give me a thumbs up if you like it leave me a comment holla at your girl see you on the next video bye